This is a moment trust was distorted. An off-duty police officer exploiting his power in the worst way. Sarah Everard deceived, handcuffed, innocently led away by her murderer. In court today, her family said they're tormented by the thought of what she endured. Her mother said it is torture to think of it. Sarah was handcuffed, unable to defend herself, and there was no one to rescue her. She spent her last hours on this earth with the very worst of humanity. Wayne Cousins, a Met police officer at the time, used his warrant card to falsely arrest her as she was out during lockdown. Here he is, after finishing a night shift, picking up a hire car in Dover, he then drove to London, hunting, the prosecution say, for a lone young female to kidnap and rape. This CCTV shows Sarah heading out to a friend's house in Clapham that night, described as savvy and streetwise, someone who'd never get into a car with someone she didn't know, unless by force or manipulation. And that's what happened. A couple driving past saw Sarah being handcuffed next to his white hire car, its hazard lights flashing. Wayne Cousins then drove her, still handcuffed, all the way to Dover in Kent, where he moved her to another car, then raped and strangled her using his police belt. Here he can be seen buying the petrol that he used to burn her body. Then, at B&Q, buying large builder's bags he used to move her body. Do you know Sarah? I don't know. Okay. But when he was arrested, Sarah. he lied, saying he was in debt to a criminal gang who forced him to kidnap and hand over a girl. They told me why I need to go and pick up girls and get them to them. In court, Sarah Everard's father asked Wayne Cousins to turn and face him, as he said, no punishment you receive will ever compare to the pain and torture you've inflicted on us. While Sarah's sister, overwhelmed by rage and grief, spoke of her disgust as Wayne Cousins appeared to cry in the dock. Tomorrow, he'll find out if he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Sarah Everard's family say her death leaves a yawning chasm that can never be filled. It was incredibly emotional in court today as the family described their loss so great it's visceral. But tomorrow comes the day of reckoning both for Wayne Cousins as he's sentenced but also for the Met Police as more details are revealed about previous allegations against him and any missed opportunities to stop him.